This is a review of our 2020 Tracker 300 that we just got one or two months ago. Um, so far, I'm really loving it. Derek's loving it too. Um, and I'm just going to tell you some of my favorite things about it. My overall, like, number one favorite thing about it is definitely the seat. It's very comfortable. It's very thick. Um, it's wide enough. I think any size person would be comfortable on this seat for a long period of time. Um, I know that quad say you're not supposed to have like multiple people ride on it at once, uh, but I will say me and Derek can both comfortably ride on this at the same time. I'm not suggest suggesting that, but you definitely can. Um, another thing that I think is really nice is the headlights. I think that they're very bright. It has regular headlights. I believe it has the fog lights too and um, you can change how you want them at the dash here. You can pick if you want the high beams on, regular, it's all right in this area. Um, another thing, it's really easy and user-friendly to shift. Um, it's got neutral, and you, I can't do it right now, I don't think, because it's not on, but you just pull it back for reverse, put it in neutral, high, low. Um, something I will note, um, you can't just go from like neutral and then reverse and then go straight to low. It likes you to go through each area first or else it gets kind of touchy and it won't click into the next one. So always go back into neutral and then pick if you want to do high, low or reverse. Um, that's my recommendation there. Um, definitely when riding a quad, it's different than riding a dirt bike. So you have to get used to the turning and how much more boxy it is. So if you have never driven on a quad before, like I hadn't, definitely take some time to just kind of relax on it, figure out how it works so you are comfortable. Um, but I do think literally anybody could hop on this quad and ride it around and have a good time. If you've never even ridden anything um, like a motorized vehicle before, I think anybody could do it and it would be a really fun time. Um, another thing, it does come with pretty nice tires. Um, eventually we'll want to get ones that are a little bit more knobby just because we do a lot of off-roading. We're not going to we don't really need them to be multi-use tires, but these are pretty good. Um, they're Kenda ones, which that's a really good brand of tire. So they definitely didn't cheap out there. Um, I don't know if every single one comes with Kendas. I'm assuming that they would just to keep things the same. Um, and then really just another thing I like, how it has all these bars around. Um, it makes it easy to kind of grab it and maneuver it if you're trying to get it in place in your garage or storage area. And then you can also hook up bags to it like we did here. So you can have good storage and you can really just customize it however you would like. And I mean, I really think for the most part, that's what I like about it. Another thing is it does have um, the start that you can just press the button and start it up here. And then it has the pull start down here. I don't know if you can see that, but the pull start is so easy and smooth. Um, I'm not a very big person and I can just pull it once and it's ready to go. So overall, I think this is a really good beginner's quad. Um, it definitely can handle a large load of weight if you do have, if you're a bigger person or if you have two people on it, even though you shouldn't, but if you do, um, it still can just pull anything. Um, we also have been towing sleds with it a little bit. That's really fun. Um, the possibilities are endless. I'm gonna put on my gear and I'll take it for a spin and kind of show you guys what it's got.